Hey guys, a few of you have had the question about how to customize the mailbox Make It Now project in Design Space. So let's go and find that design. I'm just going to view all. And I'm not really sure what it might be under, so we're just going to go all categories. And I'm going to type in mailbox. See if that will bring it up. There it is. Here's your customized mailbox. And of course, you don't want it to read 536 Cobblestone Way unless that's your address. So you're going to go in and click Customize. And I had thought I had done a video on this once before, but I don't think that I did. Uh, I think I just did a quick tutorial for somebody. Anyway, you're going to come in here, and this is the way it's going to come in, okay? And here is your text, and it's an everyday font. If you double-click on it, then you can change this to your street address. To read whatever it is you need to read, you just need to double-click on it, okay? Mine's going to be much longer than that. And you see those lines. We're not going to worry about that right now. And all they've done is change them to white, guys, so that, um, because that's the color that they're cut it out of. That's the only difference. Now, if you look here, how do you change this? Because it is welded. You can contour it out, but you're going to need 53 or 36 to be your address. So that's not going to work either. How do you fix that? Here is your line. All they're showing you is the way they set it up. That's all there is. And you see it's welded. We can't undo weld. So what you're going to do is if you click on the title and you scroll down, it will tell you what was used, what font, what image. And this is the three monogram from Monogram Motifs. So now we're going to go over here. I apologize. I thought I turned my phone off. Then we're going to go to images and we're going to look for monogram motifs and you can click on cartridges or whatever. I have found they will come up no matter which way you do it. And now you're going to look for your number. So you're just going to scroll through, and my number is 40. I only have a two-digit number. So I'm just going to go through here until I get to my number. And here we go. Here's the four. And it looks different because it's a different color. That's all there is. Um, but they're using the one with the plus in there. Yep. That's four monogram. And where's my zero? There it is. There's my zero. So I'm going to select both of those. And if you noticed, I clicked on one and I kept searching. They put them right down here when you click on them. And now I can insert both numbers. You're going to get all your numbers, okay? And then all you're going to do is they have taken and hidden that bottom layer. So you're going to hide the red parts. Okay, and it looks like they use three different ones. If you notice, they had all of them in there, uh, different ones. So just pick the ones you like. And I am just going to get rid of this. I don't really need it. I know that my address goes on top, then it goes the line, and then it goes my street. So I don't need that. And I can come over here and click and change this to white each one. Or I can click color sync and just drag that whole blue line in there. But I think I'm going to, I'm just going to attach them real quick. And I'm going to put them as black so you guys can see them. Make it easier. Okay, and now I'm going to detach so I can move, do some moving around. Okay, my address here is pretty long. So, just in my opinion, I don't need the lane. So I'm going to get rid of it because you want it to be cohesive. I need to stretch that line just a little bit longer. 
and my address is 7532 long. So I'm going to change the width of this. I'm going to unlock it. Make sure you unlock it or it'll change the height as well. And I'm going to change it to 532. So now it should be the same length as my address. 7532. It says it is. I'm going to select them both. I'm going to align center up horizontally. Center horizontally. Align center horizontally. And it's a little bit longer, but I'm I can stretch it out. I like if you want it to be longer, it you can because my I want it to be the same width exactly because I only have two numbers. So you just decide on your own how you want that bar to look and I think I want mine a little heavier as well and I think I like that I'm going to align and I'm going to center I did it again I want to center horizontally I don't know why I always do that there we go and now I have my numbers so right now I like the way that looks I'm going to attach them so I don't move it and now I need to determine Selecting it all, how high I want this to be. So if I only want it six inches in height, then it's only four inches, I'm sorry, four inches high total right now. And it's right at eight inches long. So I'm going to select it and I am going to unlock. I'm going to make it eight inches wide. And I think my numbers, they are three inches high by two. They look good. I'm just going to keep them. I'm going to align top. No, align bottom because they're going to be close to this line. So it doesn't matter that one of mine is a little taller than the other. They're cohesive. They came in at this width. You can take it down if it bothers you. All you're doing is aligning this and setting it up the way you want it to look what is looks good for you doesn't matter what others think or like it's what looks good to you so i'm going to actually weld my two numbers together just like they did on the other i am going to select i am going to align center everything horizontally and i am going to weld now that's not going to move anywhere. I can cut that. I've got it eight inches wide. I've got it four inches high, which is plenty big enough for a mailbox. If you want it larger, you set it larger. All you got to do is stretch it or unlock it and skew it. Um, you can unlock it and change how you want it to look. You can pick anything you want for your street. So it's just up to you. But that is how you customize that mailbox design and basically all it is is a rectangle made into a line it or a square you can get any shape you want and you can bring that in and you can unlock it and skew it and there's your line so you can make that anything you want you can use any font that you want you can change that up so just work on it and get what you like. You may not like the numbers that they use for that, and that may be what drew you to it. You may not like the way your address looks in the font that they chose. Pick another font, something that you like that goes with the motif that you chose. If you need any more help, just let me know. I'll be happy to help you out.